Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Thank you for joining me. Over the past 10 years, I've slowly been building up this shop and what it is today. Now, I started building up this shop about 10 years ago at my previous residence. Started out with an empty two car garage, big crack going down the concrete slab in the middle. But basically, I didn't have a tool to my name. Started collecting, going to a lot of garage sales, working my butt off, multiple jobs, landscaping, trucking, a few other different jobs over the years. And I've slowly built up this shop into what it is today. And I can honestly say I'm pretty proud. Yes, it doesn't have the fanciest pieces of equipment, not the newest pieces of equipment, but I can tell you one thing. It's very organized and when I need to find something, I can find it like that. Now my question for you, out of all the tools and pieces of equipment that I've collected over the years, what do you think the most utilized tool in my shop is? Please leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you think it is. Drum roll. Voila! It is this. A P-Touch label maker. Probably not what you're thinking. I'd imagine a lot of you probably guess maybe it's your welder, maybe it's your Makita Impact driver and drill, which Yes, those are very utilized pieces of equipment in my shop, but to be honest, this label maker right here is the most important tool in my shop, and I'll tell you why. Right now, I work very long days during the week, and I'm sure many of you can relate to that. Uh, days are normally 11, 12 hours long, so the little bit of free time I have when I come home, just like to relax, eat, rest up, and get ready to go to work the next day. However, on the weekends, that's when I get to come out in the shop and come into this man cave and repair things, bring things back to life. But my time is limited in here and my time is also very valuable. So whenever I come in here to repair something, it's critical that I know where everything is because I don't want to waste any time digging through things, trying to find something that I misplaced or don't know where it is. Now what this label maker has allowed me to do in conjunction with my organizational skills, it's allowed me to organize this shop as to where I can find just about anything I need within seconds. Let me show you a few examples. Now in some ways I kind of wish we were doing a live stream right now, that way you guys could challenge me to see if I could find a component that I have in my shop and time me as to how quick I could find it. But let's say an idler bearing on one of my vehicles is making a lot of noise and I need to replace that bearing. Well let me go over to my uh, yellow bin shelf over here and I know I have bearings on the top shelf. Right here, go to my bearing bin. Let's see what size bearings I have. So I have 6303 rubber seal, single rubber seal, and I have a 6203 cartridge with single rubber seals. Too easy? All right. Well, let's say we're doing a masonry project and we need Tapcon screws. My question to you is, what size? So on the second shelf up from the bottom, we have expansion anchors, Tapcon screws, 3 sixteenths, two and a half inch, two and a quarter inch, you name it. I might or might not have it, but the labels will tell you. You know, one of my favorite shows growing up as a kid was the Mythbusters, and I remember watching their show, looking along their shop walls, and basically from the concrete floor up to the top of their shop, maybe 20 or 30 feet high, they'd have shells of bins similar to what I have, and they'd have big pieces of duct tape labeling whatever was in those bins and I've kind of copied that system and adapted it in my own way. As you can see I use these black bins because they're nice and durable. The thin clear plastic stuff, it'd be nice to look inside but that stuff I just found not to be as durable as these black uh, bins with the yellow tops. Uh, additionally, before I had that label maker I used to use yellow pieces of duct tape and utilize a black sharpie but since I have the label maker now I've slowly been replacing these labels one by one. And just to give you an idea of some of the categories I have in these bins, uh, like here's masonry, painting supplies, various tapes, string cordage, uh, chainsaw equipment, extension cords, jumper cables, networking cable, uh, auto parts, uh, woodworking equipment, 12 volt wiring. So there's kind of a main category for each bin. And then beneath that main category could be a sub list of components that are in the box. And if I take one of those components out of the box and it's no longer in there, I'll either remove that label or just cross it out with a black line. So for example, here is mostly AC wiring, uh, house wiring. So I have AC to DC converters, 14-2 uh, AC wire, junction boxes, connectors, circuit breakers, twist nuts, dimmer switch, box extension plates. So you get the idea. Really good system. 
allows me to find things like that. Oh no, wifey had me move a piece of furniture for the 10th time and I accidentally put a hole in the drywall. Wherever am I gonna find those tools? Hmm. Oh look, sanding drywall box. What do we have in here? Sandpaper, five inch orbital sandpaper, drywall tape, fiberglass tape, Bondo applicator, spackling knives, mud pan, and drywall saw. I'm pretty sure that box would do us just fine. Anybody ever watch The Office? You remember that episode where Michael was asking the hotel concierge where everything was and she was able to respond to just about every question he had? I kind of feel like that's what we're doing right now. So let's say you have a big tree in the yard you need to pull over. You need big heavy rope. Hmm, what do I have? This bin right here, we have the three quarter inch 200 foot bull rope with a 20,000 pound ranking strength. I think that'll do the job just fine. Hmm, it would appear that somebody put some type of chemical liquid in this spray container that wasn't originally in there. What could it possibly be? Oh, look, somebody put a label on it. It's just Windex. Ah, shoot, I really wish I took down the make and model of that electric pond pump motor that I just rebuilt because, you know, if it goes again, I want to make sure I have the parts on hand. Oh, wait a minute, I actually put a label on the electrical panel with that information. Look, I also labeled what bearings we need to order in case we need to rebuild that motor again. Also, look, there's the engine information for the Craftsman LT2000 lawnmower. Now, this is still a working progress, but I've also labeled each one of these breakers and what they correspond to. So, if I need to shut off the garage welder, breaker 24 and 26, 24 and 26, two pull breaker, it's off right now. Well, anyway, I think you guys get the idea here. Time is very valuable. Organization is critically important if you have a limited amount of time. And a really good investment to help organize your shop is some type of label maker. I'm not sponsored by Peak Touch, but these are fantastic little units. They use uh, aftermarket label tape with no problems. Really just a great little investment. Good thing to get your husband, if this is a uh, wife watching the channel. Good little Christmas present here. Anyway, thanks for watching as always. We'll catch you on the next one.